Welcome back, my good listeners. We'll be talking about advanced espresso testing. Let's finish up the movies application with testing. What about we'll be testing the alphabetical sorting of the movie's name, which we created in the previous tutorial before this? We have two forms of testing when it comes to Android application, the UI test and the device test. The UI test tests for the different uh, UI functionality in Android, where we'll talk about the list view, recycler view, intents, background jobs, and so on. Here, a special comes in. We have device testing. Uh, what about you test for device capability? We talk about JUnit here. But I'll be focusing more on uh, Expresso and let's have a short introduction to Expresso. It's a small API, predictable and easy to learn, yet it remains open for customization. Expresso tests states expectations, interactions, and assertions clearly without the distraction of boilerplate content, custom infrastructure, or mess implementation. You know, Espresso tests run optimally fast. It lets you uh, leave wait, sync, sleeps, and pause behind while it manipulates and asserts on the application UI when it's at rest. Espresso actually targets uh, developers who believe, believe that automated testing is an integral part of their development lifecycle. While it can be used from black box texting, Espresso's full power is unlocked by those who are familiar with it. No, the code base on the test. We have different packages that Expresso actually comes with. The Expresso core, whereby you talk about the view matchers, actions and assertions. The Expresso web, where we have uh, the web view uh, testing. We have the idealin resource, whereby we talk about the mechanism for synchronization with background jobs. We have the Expresso contrib, where we talk about the date picker, the recycler view and some draw actions. We have the last but not the least, the Expresso intent, where we are going to actually uh, use all the validate and stop intents uh, for different uh, testing flow. And uh, for you to actually have Expresso right set up and for testing, you have to set up your test environment. Majorly, if you're testing on a device, uh, you must make sure the window animation is off, the transition animation and the animator duration are also uh, toggled off. You can get that from the settings uh, right there at the developer session. You see the three aspects I've mentioned. And uh, we're actually going to be building on, on the movies app. What about we stop right there when we are sorting alphabetically the movies name of uh, each uh, list. And we'll be creating a test, an espresso test on this uh, logic. So you can actually get the source code from the GitHub the link you're seeing uh, now. From here, we'll be moving straight down to the source of this application. Let's start to integrate Espresso into the Movies app. The first step is to get Espresso up and running right there in the big grid. You need to point uh, to Espresso dependencies. Uh, we have the support annotation, uh, the Espresso core, and the Expresso intents, if you're using intents, uh, we have the rules and the runner. Uh, this takes us down to the instrumentation runner. Very important, you need to add the Android JUnit runner, which actually uh, created the UI test uh, to work perfectly. And we'll be pointing at the recycler view. So we actually need to bring this in because uh, the recycler view is not actually, uh, firstly, it wasn't uh, Supported by Expresso, we only have the adapter view, which is the list view. But as time goes on, Expresso uh, integrates the recycler view, which is the version 7, and also the support version 4. We have the app compact as well, and uh, other libraries uh, that uh, mix up the modern uh, application development in Android are all supported in Expresso. So we have this dependency. After doing this, just synchronize Gradle and set your application ready. We'll be moving straight to the main activity where we're actually going to make a test on the recycler view as the viewpoint. Uh, right there in the onCreate, just head straight to the onCreate method, we're going to need a separate adapter. We don't want it to interfere with uh, the main adapter we used just to make the sort of test. Let's see how it actually flow. Now we create a test adapter. 
which I will, I will show you after this, and we instantiate with an object called test adapter. We call the layout inflator uh, to this class, and uh, we set the adapter to the recycler view, which is the view we actually got from the layout. And we test set the adapter, and as well, we set the list because we are actually populating a list to the adapter to actually bind up to the layout. So we set the list, the moving list, which is actually from the list array, and we have that set up right there in the on-create method. We are not touching other aspect of the code. We are just uh, making a small test of the UI. Afterwards, I move to the adapter sub package, and I have my test adapter. This test adapter just mimic the uh, movies adapter, but this time around, we use a layout inflator, and uh, we have the list of the movie uh, as well. And we have the constructor that actually takes in the layout of later and uh, the movie and instantiate with the new array list. Now we have our own create view order just like the way we created any recycler view order uh, to actually inflate the card, which is the list item uh, when we're talking about uh, recycle, uh, lists. And uh, we have our get movie and we have the corresponding set movie. I want you to look at the set movie closely because we're actually going to be calling this set movie right there. Uh, in the tests class, the set movie takes in a movie list, uh, a list array from the movie class. And uh, it's actually, first of all, clear this out and add all objects of this movie list uh, to the movie. You know, this movie adds up to the movie list. And at the same time, it notifies the item range you started you know, to the size. So it can actually insert more than what you have right there in the movie list. That's what this is doing. And we have the bind view that we're actually not binding anything. We're not displaying any layout. So we just can just leave that blank. But this is very important. We need to override the movie, uh, the get item count rather, and we get the size or that's the length of the movie, you know, which is actually the array. And uh, we have our inner class, which is the view order that extend the recycler view. This is where you can actually point down to an intent and do some other. Uh, things with uh, the recycler view, but at this point in time, we just need to initialize the views of the title and the user rating. Majorly, the title is the point here that we actually made uh, the alphabetical sorting on. That's fine for the adapter. The test adapter supports the main activity, which actually uh, we're going to make a test on this uh, recycler view, uh, view. This particular ID, that's where the test is going to be pointed at. Now, if you notice right there in your structure of the application directory, let me just collapse all this for you to see and let me expand over here. Now we notice we have two different forms of test, the Android test and the test. This Android test is actually for the UI. That's when we come, talks about the Espresso, the instrumentation and some other aspects. Once you are testing the UI functionality, you place your code right there in the Android test. But once you're testing the device capability, you know, you put, you place your code right there in the test directory. You know, just know where you specify the code, you know, so that it's actually going to work the way you feel. And this test actually houses JUnit, but Espresso compares the two. And from here, you create a new class. You know, just right click and create a new class, name it, uh, give it a good name that actually fits your test. We actually call this alphabetical sorting movies test. We click on this, let's see what this comprise. Now, after we might have uh, had our dependencies working, if you should notice, we have some imports here. Uh, the expression on view, the view assertion, that's the matches, and the with ID. You know, we have the view watch matches, the view assertions, and also the expression on view. These are all used right there in the code. Let's look how the code is. You first of all, first of all start with the run width, which actually use the Android JUnit 4 class. And you might uh, add your large text, which is for the filters. We have the class name, and we have the activity test rule. That's the rule now, which actually houses the main activity as a generic class. And we instantiate, give it the M activity rule. Uh, that's fine. And now, our class, which is the test, is called sorted, which actually points down on view, on view of the view matches, uh, on view of the express rather, over here, uh, calls with ID, which is the view matches, and the ID where 
making test on is a recycler view which you can see and we check that if it actually matches a method which will will show which is actually the matcher uh, method is sorted alphabetically let's look at the concept of this method uh, which actually returns a new type save matcher and um, we have a list string which is a list uh, array instantiated to an array list called a movie name and now we look at we have an enum method which is a protected and we have to override this right there and we have it called the matches safely uh, that takes an item that's a view you know it's a view it takes which is the recycler view and uh, we have this created the object of the recycler view now we call the test adapter the adapter which is actually used to test we created an object from this and we get this adapter we get the recycler view adapter at this point first of all we clear the movie name you know we don't want to have any list right populated in this array list and we need to add all you know, we add to this to this list and what we add will be based on this method that has been triggered and in a private method called extract movie names now we call the test adapter object to point on the get movie which is the podium of the movie you know get movie that actually sits right there in the adapter let's get to look at the test adapter and let's see what the get movie returns it returns the movie which is the list after you might have set the movie and it you have to, you have the ability to get all, all movies um, list you know and you have to return it so that's what this particular uh, method does so it calls on all movies and it passes them into this method called extract the movie names so we are actually extracting the names alone from all the list so that's just what that let's quickly look at the inner method what it's doing the extract movie names are, is from the list string and what it only takes is a list and from the movie uh, which is actually a list movie which is from the movie pojo right there we shit a list string you know and we instantiate with an array list we give it the movie names uh, we have a for each loop this for each loop is iterating through all the movies list and uh, from there you keep on adding uh, to the movie names which is the list st string we actually created and in each ad we get the original title which is from the movie podium uh, which is from the battle uh, we get the original title the get original title passing the name of the movie oh uh, well well get original title we have it somewhere there over here which returns the title of each movie uh, that's just what that does so now we've been able to sort that out and uh, create a test on this that must be that's what we use the match for you know, that does it match does it, the recycler view displayed match what we are testing on so we have that set now it returns the movie name and there's a description that it has items sorted alphabetically with the movie name you know each movie name probably is uh first and furious so on so we have that setup this is an advanced way to actually test your ui and we're actually testing on the recycler view and we are we use the matcher to actually uh, create uh, a kind of comparison are we having the right uh, object called that's just what this does so after doing this, after having this sorted out, you have no errors. You need to test your, your you need to test your test. Let's put, let put it that way. You know, let's create a test. You know, let's know if this test is actually working or not. So for you to do that, uh, you need to uh, get your device or emulator ready uh, for you to actually have that set up. And uh, you actually going to right click on the class which is the testing class once you right click uh, you can run you, know, you can run your tests easily you know. a click on this we actually call on the deployment target that you deploy into are you deploying to your device or an emulator i am going to only pick a device because i have my device right connected at this point in time also use a device or an emulator and now i'm going to click on okay so it's actually going to rebuild uh so let me Try to drag up so that you'll be able to see this. Can you see this uh, aspect? You need to sort it and all tests passed.
it's actually sorted and all your tests were passed and completed. You must have this stream uh, ink filled up. You know, if it's crashed, you can easily debug from this uh, aspect to know where the problem lies. So this is just how to carry out an espresso test right there in your UI. You can do this for intent, you can do this for list view, you can do it for date the speaker you can do it for other aspects of your application that fuels. You can do it for ExoPlayer. You, know, you can start to create tests on your device, on your application, so that you'll be quite sure that what you're doing is right on top of the game. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I'll be uploading, I'll be committing at this point in time so that you're going to have this copy right there in uh, the GitHub uh, repository. Uh, so thank you very much for my time for hanging out with me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a pleasant time. Bye-bye.